So Gillian, in your own words, tell us about the recent uh, marriage equality referendum in DCU. That was actually an incredible experience. Um, we found out about it earlier this year that it was going to happen. Um, it's something that's happened in other campuses and we were actually quite um, delighted that it was going to happen here. Obviously, uh, the exec had been mandated to support marriage equality. That's something that had already gone through. So it wasn't a case of will they, won't they, but it's the student body as a whole. Are they going to support this? It's also a very good campaigning tool for us. So we weren't worrying about, okay, how many people do we have to tell? If this was going to go out as a student-wide referendum, that's fantastic. That's a lot of our work already done. So what does the yes result mean for DCU? The yes result was amazing. Um, and I was there on the night and just that 93% resounding yes. And I screamed myself worse at that point. That was, that was huge. That, for me and for LGBT students, that's a massive yes, we support you. Yes, we believe in you. Um, and it's just this this big thing of you don't even realise it's missing until somebody says it. You don't even realise that you were thinking, is this on people's minds? It's so obviously on LGBT people's minds, but to have 93% of people who voted say yes is basically like, you know, two, two or three thousand people coming up and going, yeah, we're behind you. As you said, 93%, 2,393 students voted yes. Exactly. Where he's expecting that. No, no, I'm not going to lie. Um, I kind of know the figures from, from recent elections, so even knowing that the figures have gone up was a big thing uh, for somebody who supports democracy is great, but no, um, I don't think we, we really were expecting it. Um, it's one of those things where we knew that it would be high. We knew it would be in the 90s. That's the way it's gone across various campuses, and DCU was very open and very accepting and welcoming to its LGBTQ students. So we knew that it would be up there, but still, to have it read out 93% is just one of those moments where you're like, I knew this was coming, but it's really nice to know for certain. Some people who voted no mm -hmm. feel that it shouldn't be the college's position to have a view on it. Yeah. What do you say to them? I think this is a union, like any other, and unions will take stances on things. Um, and I think it is up to the members of the union to decide. The members decided they wanted to put forward a referendum. That's the way unions work, and um, that would be my opinion on that. No problem. And what's the next step for DCU? The next step, well, <laughs> now we start getting people to pledge to vote. We work with people to get them on supplementary registers if they're not already on it. Um, obviously the vote is happening at the very end of exam season, some people will still be in Dublin. They may not have registered up here, they may have faced complications registering up here, which has happened for a number of students. So now it's about getting those people on the register and actually encouraging people to get out and vote on the day. And finally, do you have a message for people for the upcoming nationwide referendum? It's all very positive. There's a lot of talk about how the yes side have a great advantage. Every single vote counts on the day. And um, this is one of those things we can't become complacent. It could come down, it could come down to a thing on the day where it's raining and people go, oh, the yes side's gonna win anyway, they don't go out and vote. We need people to go to vote, to exercise their democratic right on the day, go tick that piece of paper, pop it on the box, let's get this done, let's do it together. Thanks Gillian, that's perfect. Thank you very much.